Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to solve another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So before any further ado, let's get started. So the problem is linked list random node. It's a very easy problem. Uh, we'll be given a singly linked list and we need to return a random node from the linked list, any random node value. So each node have the same probability of being chosen. So see, whenever you think of this word, you see random, you can easily think of that, okay, every in every language we have a random function, so we can use that. Yes, we'll be using that. So uh, in the problem, we'll be given a solution class and it has a constructor. And in the constructor, we have the linked list head and a function is given, which is get random. And this function will return uh, the linked list random node value whenever it's called. Whenever the this function is called, it will return a random linked list node value. So if we see this test case, uh, this is the solution of uh, this is a solution like object will be created, and this linked list head is uh, this linked list is passed in that. So basically, linked list head will be passed, and get random and every time get get random is called, uh, random linked list node value will be returned. So like one is returned, three is returned, then two is returned, any random value. So let's see how we'll approach this problem. So this is the linked list which is given to us. Now we we discussed that we can use the random function because uh, we have to return the random. So we can will be returning the random function. Uh, we'll be using the random function. So we like when we use the random function, either we give a range in which we need to uh, get the random value. So for example, I need to get a value from one to 100, any random value I want, but it should be between one to 100. So then I'll get 55 or any value I can get, right? So over here also, if we, if this is a linked list and we need to return a random, uh, random value, we need to, we need to get any random index. If we do the indexing, this is zero, one, two, obviously it's, it's a linked list. It's not an array. We cannot do indexing, but just for the explanation purpose, we are doing indexing. And if the random value we get uh, is, let's say one, we get one. So we will traverse the linked list and we will return the one in, uh, one index node value like that. But how we will get this random value? Random function will give any value. It could be anything. Like it could be a big integer also, right? Nine, eight, seven, six, something like that. So, but this, this uh, this random value should be between the length of the linked list right it could not be any other value because if, then it uh, if it's like 55 we, are, we do not have 55 nodes in the linked list so we'll not be able to return the node which is at index 55 right so what we need to do is we need to have a random value which is between the length of this linked list that is 0 to the length minus 1 so this should be the random values uh, range so what we will do we will use the random function and whatever random value we get, we'll do modulus with the length of the linked list. So then we'll get the, uh, we'll get the index, which is between this length, uh, linked list length, right? So this is, we will be doing this and we know how to calculate length of the linked list. We'll traverse the linked list till the end and we'll just simply do length plus plus. We'll take a variable length and initialize it with zero and we will be traversing the linked list and we'll be incrementing the length every time we go to a node. So this is the way we will be uh, getting the random index and we'll be returning the node which is at that random index. We'll be returning the node value, not the node itself. Just take care of that. We'll be returning the node value. So this is the approach. I hope you understood it. This is like a basic uh, overview of approach. Let's see the code. Now you'll better understand. So this is the code. Um, this is a solution class. See over here in the question, they have given us the solution class and it has the solution constructor, which takes a head of the linked list. This is linked list node, which is uh, uh, like over here. And uh, then uh, we have taken a variable length, which will store the length of the linked list. And this is a head. We have taken a pointer variable, which will be storing the he uh, head of the linked list. So this is a constructor. In the constructor only, since linked list is being passed, see, this linked list is being passed, we'll be, we will calculate its length. So we have calculated the length and we have stored it in this variable. 
so then whenever the get random function is called see get random is being called whenever get random is called we will be calculating the rand index which is the random function modulus length right and uh, then what we will do uh, we will traverse the linked list until we get to that index and when we get to that index we will return that index value we will return that index value so i hope you understood the code the time complexity for the code uh, since we are doing we are calculating the length so let's take it as o of n and for the time, uh, space complexity we it will be o of 1 because we are not taking any extra space so i hope you understood the problem and the approach if you have any doubts or uh, any uh, if you have any doubts let me know in the comments and if you like the video please like it share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video thank you